Yeah, I'm excited. Excited to be here. Um, happy to be here. Um, it obviously after MLS Cup for me, it went pretty quickly. Um, but we, me and my family, flew down here, visited the facilities and everything after knowing they were interested. And um, yeah, then we sorted out the contract. And now, you know, the first week has been great. I'm excited to get back training. Um, I know after after winning, it's kind of like you at the same time want to take a little bit of a rest, but it's, uh, also you want to right, get right back into it and and kind of you know repeat what you did. So um, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Excited to get started with a new club and new teammates. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I saw you very close with the last training that we had actually with Yedlin talking to him. Can you talk a little bit how, how those guys received you? Yeah, no, they received me great. Um, obviously, I know the coaching staff from years past in Atlanta, um, but DeAndre um, has been, yeah, has been amazing. I know him from the from the national team a little bit, so we had that connection from that. And once he found out that I was coming here, that we kind of talked a little. And as soon as I came in, um, yeah, we now sit next to each other in the locker room as well. So. Um, he's a good guy to kind of, uh, yeah, just get to know the club a little bit more and, and quickly um, so that I can ad adapt easy and, and he's, he's been tremendous, a uh, tremendous help. Jordan, uh, Michelle Kaufman from Miami Herald, welcome. How are you? Um, where do you see yourself, you know, you're a versatile player, you play different positions. Where, where do you see yourself fitting in here? What, you know, where, where do you think you're, I don't know if Tata has talked to you about that or <laughs> what, 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 what do you think you're going to help with the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I, like you said, I think I can help in many different positions and in many different ways. So. Wherever Tata sees the best position for me to help the team, I think that's where I'll play. You know, and that's what I'm happy with. Um, so it's really up to up to the coach and up to kind of what he what he thinks. I also wanted to ask just what it's been like compared to. Obviously, there's so much talk about this team. You know that from last season. Yeah. What was it like? What has it been like compared to what your preconceived notions might have been about being on the field with with you know Messi, Busquets, Alba, and all this? It's, I mean, it's special, you know, to be on the field with those guys and train with those guys. It's, there's no doubt about that. But at the same time, I'm really, you know, happy that, you know, they seem like regular guys, you know, and that's really what it's been like. And like on the first day, for example, Busquets coming to me and congratulating me for the MLS Cup, you know, without him even knowing me. So um, he knew that I had won and all those types of things. It's, it's you know, good to see. And um, it's been a good week. And, you know, I'm obviously happy to, to play with those guys on the field. and. Um, get to know them a little bit more as well. Why, why, why Inter-Miami? Why Inter-Miami? You had options, right? You could have chosen a number of teams. Why Inter-Miami? Yeah, I mean, it's it's intriguing, right, in terms of who are your teammates and what the club is, is trying to do. Um, not within, yeah, not only, you know, here in this market, but also within MLS to try and push boundaries. And I think that's what I'm trying to do as well. And um, I also want to win, you know, and I think I have a really good chance here of, of winning, uh, being, being able to um, hopefully win four trophies. You know, and I think that's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to continue to do. Um, yeah, obviously had some other options, um, but ultimately, I think the it was just the appeal of, of kind of Miami and what the club is trying to do and the, the vision, even beyond this year, that um, kind of I was excited about. How much familiarity with that? Obviously, Sony as well. Having played before Yeah, I mean, it, it helped. You know, Tata and I. I think we've had a really good connection from the very start in Atlanta. And, um, knowing uh, that he was obviously here after he got hired in the summer, we had a brief connection um, where I just wished him good luck with the project and everything. And now over the off season, we, we talked a little bit more again um, as he as he wanted to bring me in. So um, it definitely helped. I know what they like. I know how they how we work and, and all those things. And those things I, I've been successful with. So it, it made sense for me to to kind of uh, yeah come back and, and see um, if we can be successful again. Along the lines of what you were talking about earlier. <laughs> um, right now, it still doesn't feel too different. I'm sure in, in a few weeks, once we once we chat around the world, it'll feel a little bit different. But all in all, in many good ways, you know. I think, like I said before, I think this league is is trying to go places, and and this certainly helps a franchise like like here, where you're trying to push every single boundary, you're trying to you know do do a lot of things uh, the right way to really get growing and, and grow and grow the fan base here but also within the league and within the u.s is is huge and that's um yeah well i'm sure i'll, I'll feel a little bit different in a few weeks but for now we've only been here a week now so it's it still feels uh like an mls club i guess a little bit more media i guess too yeah can you talk about the, uh, the el salvador can you talk about the el salvador game i mean as someone who's been with the u.s national team Excellent. as someone who's been with the u.s national team uh you know how do you feel playing the, the el salvador game what do you think that'll be like 
Yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, I've never played, obviously, a national team with a club team. Um, so that'll certainly be something else um, that I, I get to experience and I'm excited about it. You know, I think it'll be, it'll be a cool trip for us um, to kind of kick off the games, um, to go down there and, and uh, you know, see a lot of fans and all that type of stuff in a different environment. Um, which also might prepare us well for, you know, the, the CONCACAF Champions Cup and all those types of competitions that we'll have coming up with where you might face different types of oppositions, you know. So um, it'll be a good way for us to start preseason um, and an exciting, exciting matchup for sure. I wanted to ask you about, you know, maybe for a lot of people, the big matchup during preseason will be against Cristiano Ronaldo. So, um, you're, you have a teammate, one of the best in the world. Cristiano is, you know, right there in that conversation. Yeah. What are your expectations about that? About that match in particular? You want to do Spanish? I'll take it. <laughs> I can't do that much Spanish yet. Maybe by the end of the year. Um, no, but uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know, it's an exciting, exciting. I think schedule for us in general to go, uh, yeah, to Saudi Arabia, but then also uh, Hong Kong and, and uh, Japan. So it's it's certainly um, you know exciting matchups and, and the matchup against yeah I mean everybody always talks about Messi or Ronaldo and all those types of things so um, I think the media hypes it up a little bit more than than probably everybody else uh, or or we us within the club and, and within the team but for now you know it's really about us getting ready for the season and and that is a preseason game that we'll we'll worry about when it comes to that uh, right now you know we've we've trained for a week where. Now about to go to El Salvador to have that first game and, and then, you know, come back, have another couple of games in between. So we're certainly um, just trying to get ready for the year, trying to, you know, prepare well. And then, and then uh, when it really counts, we got to be ready for that. Um, but it's certainly it's intriguing. It's going to be hard to predict. What, what kind of environment do you expect on Friday? It's a sold-out game. It's in El Salvador. It's their national team. But obviously, Messi is a major draw. So I mean, what, what do you expect from that crowd? Is it going to... You know what? I haven't experienced it with... with Messi and I haven't even played against him even last year so it'll be totally new to me so I don't really have much expectations it'll be I'm sure it'll be it'll, it'll be yeah fun and, and wild a little bit but um, you know I'm excited for it I'm excited to experience it I'm excited to kind of yeah get into that environment and, and um, see what it's like you talk about it you said about growing the brand of MLS and spreading you know, spreading the tentacles worldwide um, the amount of travel that you guys are going to be doing before the season starts, there's been a lot of talk about that. Like, is it too much? How do you balance, you know, the business side of, you know, all the opportunities this team gets versus preparing like a Columbus crew, preparing for the MLS Cup, preparing the day-to-day? -day. How do you guys balance that? And, and do you think it's too much travel? How do you how do you plan to manage the amount of miles you guys are going to be covering before you even start? Um, I think we'll be able to manage it. I think it'll be it'll be okay. And, and you know, we last year I went to Spain with Vancouver. That's not you know the, the shortest way either. You know, so um, it, it's certainly yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of travel, but it's at the same time I think it's great opportunities. Great, great for me to see all these places that I've never been to, for example, and and really cool to combine that with with doing what I love, and that's playing soccer. And, and obviously, you have to. Um, as a club, I think you see the opportunity you have here, and, and that's what the club is doing as well. But at the same time, you know, it's not an excuse for us to get ready for the season and then not be ready for when the time comes. So we're certainly, um, you know, able to work. We've been working now this past week. We have another week here, uh, another few days more here. And then I think we get to work as well when we're in, in Saudi. I think we have a little bit more time. Um, and, you know, those matchups, like I said, they're also get you ready for the season you know we'll have we'll come games will come quickly we have a lot of time and uh, maybe some travel you know within the u.s a lot of travel is it's also happening every weekend so you know it's it's nothing new uh, and that's what i think um yeah that's why i think it's not not that uh not that big of an issue and we'll, we'll certainly be ready for the season Julie, you talked about the, you're talking about the position what do you hear about el salvador you can invite people <laughs> I know we're I'm excited to see it I don't think I've ever been so um, I'm excited to see El Salvador and, and meet the people and, and kind of get to experience the passion for for, for the soccer um, and um, yeah I'm just excited to get to experience uh, that type of environment with with us playing the national team and everything so it'll be it'll be cool
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, as a right wing back, um, I think Tata wants an attacking wing back, attacking wing backs where you know the cover doesn't really come from the wing backs in the back where one goes one and one stays. No, it's really about you know when we advance down the field, get into the box and get into the final third and then um, attack as well and, and obviously help help build out and, and help absorb pressure at times when we have to um, in terms of defending. But at this, you know I think main focus when we attack is is to try and you know help help score goals and. Um, more as a winger than than really a back, you know. So, um, yeah, it's something that you know we've worked a little bit on. We've also worked on the back four. Like we've talked about that. Obviously, the club is, the teams have played in the back four last year mostly. So, um, from my understanding, is that we're not really set in in one way or another. We could be flexible and adapt, and so can I. Um, within that, those all all those systems uh, in, in different positions. So, excited to work more, and then we'll see. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. <laughs>